Okay, guys, so we're going to wash these makeup brushes and we're going to be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. So, this is the pink contraption I use to scrub my makeup brushes. And we're going to make sure the water is not too hot and not too cold, but lukewarm. So, yeah, that's me just testing the water right there. And you're going to first saturate the brush in the water. This is to get it moisturized for lathering. It's better to do it like that so it can lather well. So I just put the shampoo around the brush edge and I scrub. Scrub, 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 dub, 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 scrub. I just flip the brush over and scrub and scrub and scrub. Then I rinse the brush off. And as you can see, this only requires one application of the shampoo. This is why I tell you that this shampoo is extremely strong, very potent. It cleanses your brushes clean. So you don't need to be buying any makeup cleaner. You can just use the shampoo that's in your cabinet already. I'm going to let it lay on this paper towel and just strip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a next brush. This one is my foundation brush, so it's extremely dirty. So again, we're gonna saturate the brush in the lukewarm water. And then apply the shampoo around the edge, the perimeter, and the top of it. And we're going to repeat the process. We're going to scrub using our little brush scrubber. Do you see how dirty that is, guys? It's very dirty. So this is why we need to clean our brushes. Because if we don't, using the brush like this on your face repeatedly can cause your skin to get breakouts. And it also doesn't make the makeup apply very well. Now, as you can see, I only applied one application of the shampoo to this and the brush is already clean. Do you see that? That's awesome. So I'm just doing this here for good measure. I don't really need to do this, but I'm just doing it for good measure. Making sure it's squeaky clean. Draining it out. I'm resting on a paper towel again. I'm gonna do a smaller brush this time. Oh no, sponge, sorry, the sponge. Now the sponge would not need the brush cleaner, just the shampoo. And with the sponge, I'm not gonna scrub because it can possibly damage the sponge. So I'm just going to squeeze it in my hands to remove the makeup from the sponge. And you can see it's already cleaning all of the foundation and gunk, makeup gunk out of it. And I just squeeze it to get all of that out. Now I missed the top on the tip. So I'm just making sure that it, that, that top caught some of the shampoo as well. Clean. Now we're going to a smaller brush. This is a brush I use to apply my transition color. Sometimes I use this brush to blend out my concealer that I place on my eyelids before I put my eyeshadow on. So we're going to repeat the process by scrubbing it again. And it's actually very really clean, so I just like to do, I'm so extra, I just make sure that, you know, it's really clean deep down in there. it for the brushes i'll do the other ones off camera because it's the same process i repeat 
what are the brushes and now here they are all cleaned squeaky clean drying on a paper towel all of them the ones that I use frequently and after I'm done with that I would lay them on my bed and allow the fan to air dry them but that's it so thanks for watching my video guys make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel guys thank you Mwah.